Hello, this is Toriar and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4S Vinland. Mm, we are conquering, and conquering some more. Expanding quickly. Not as quickly as we'd like to, but quite quickly. Right. So you guys are supposed to go down here. And we have killed some natives. Maybe you guys stay in the province for a while longer. Just in case the natives are aggressive. And let's order the attachment so our vassal will follow us we have to we'll have to defeat this army because they're coming to Allegheny and yeah we will defeat them we have twice as many troops then we'll move into Armanac and take care of that we are sieging we are sieging they're coming from the south okay you guys merge, detach siege and continue south. I, actually I will go this way first because I think I saw an army here. Yes, Croatian army actually. And they are about to cause some trouble. You guys, mm, we don't want to attach to this army. We want to attach to this army. We have very low morale but we have a superior number so we'll be alright. Okay, attach to us. And go to Chil... what's that? Chilicotti? Chilicotti? Something like that. And we will destroy the natives in Airy, 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 so that they don't attack us the next time we come through here. Siege is finished, great. I won't bring you back home yet because you will probably encounter the natives and we'll do some manpower. Actually, we will do that. You guys move to this province and stay here for a while, because we have to colonize it in order to core... Um, what's that? Menomine. Menomini? Menomine? Menomine? I don't know. Okay, and you guys move to... Chilicotti, Armagnac. Oh, they have quite a sizable army still, and they have higher morale than us, so let's wait for a while and recover our morale. We have numbers advantages, a numbers advantage, but we would be attacking over a river, so it's better to wait. Hopefully they will attack us and get an, get a disadvantage, and we should win without any trouble whatsoever. But can you destroy the natives? Yes, let's do that. We have superior numbers, so they should kill them. Mm, might have been mistaken, <laughs> there might be too few troops to do that. Alright, and we are colonizing, good. And there are no natives here. Oh, we haven't killed them. Okay, so we didn't have enough troops to do that. Right, you guys are ready. You are ready to attack their army, but do we want to? Let's spread our, uh, split our armies instead and siege those two provinces. They are bound to attack us at some point, and then we will have the advantage. Or if we finish the sieges first, we will just concentrate our attack on them. Maybe we'll, we would come from one of those provinces to avoid the river. But there are rivers everywhere here. Right, how are we doing on the siege? 10 progress, that's good. 6, also alright. Okay, so we can actually send a diplomat to you and um, demand annexation. So let's recall one of our diplomats. Recall our... Recall our settler. Send the settler here. So that we will be able to call the province. This one... Mm, I'm not sure if we will be able to call it. Let's uh, give it to one of our vassals instead. Which one? Marwar, you have two. Five base tax and you have six. Nine, okay. So, attack... Uh, Pakeis, Pakeis are a bet the better vassal, and we might want to keep them for longer, so perhaps it would be wiser to give them one of those provinces, uh, this province. On the other hand, if we gave uh, you this, yeah, let's give them this instead, a bit later. So this we will give to Marwar, they should be able to take care of that. And send diplomat, sue for peace. Allegheny, give it to Marwar, and again the trick still works, we can both annex them as someone else and get some free prestige from that. 
but we are already maxed out on prestige, so it's really not necessary. Okay, uh, offer tribute, sorry. Send. We'll get some money. And our vassal got the province. They should core it and not have trouble with the rebels. I hope they won't. Yes, they are coring and unrest is only 3%. Okay, this one we cannot give to a vassal because no vassal is in range. So we will have to send the colonists here and then uh, we can take a mission religious unity. No. Croatia entered a military alliance with Hausa. I don't think they will enter the war because uh, we are so much stronger. And we are sieging. Actually, let's send one of our units to reinforce those troops. We cannot piece you out because you are the war leader. Where is this colonist? It's quite quite a long, taking quite a long time. Rebel uprising. Oh. Let's harsh treat. We have a lot of military power and I don't want to be dealing with uh, rebels at the moment. We will finish um, converting the province soon and the revolt risk will go away. We have a bit of war exhaustion that, mm, that's uh, causing problems. We will demand the vassalization of Armanac. Demand vassal and force rule. Oh, we can't force religion, they're too big for that. Ah, never mind then. We just take vassalization, some money, and that's all we can do. Of course, after we have mm, sieged all of their provinces. We could strike at them now. Just leave one regiment everywhere. Okay, and we finished our conversion. Let's send the diplomat as well. Diplomat, sorry. Missionary. This uh, this missionary strength bonus is doing quite a lot for us. Right. You know what? Let's actually detach siege everywhere. Just leave one regiment and attack. That will be quicker. Quicker that way. We have the numbers advantage, we will have a river crossing, but should win. Oh, we are not actually not winning because of the river crossing modifier. Okay, that is becoming problematic. Let's send, let's break the sieges and send some reinforcements. It might be enough. Oh crap, we lost. Okay, I didn't expect that because we had so many more troops. And our, one of our armies got wiped. We will we will take care of that in a moment. We can still beat them. We're stronger, we are more numerous. Okay, so we have a colonist here. Now we will be able to court this province. Let's demand their annexation. Sorry, they rejected the peace offer. Oh, because um, the ally, their allies are in the war. And our overall war score is not that good. Should we reduce war exhaustion? Yeah, let's do that. We have a lot of monarch points. That's the thing when you're playing as uh, such a low tech group. The monarch points are not as exp as uh, valuable as when you're um, European, for example. Okay, you guys recover for a bit, get to our own lands, recover morale, consolidate. Maybe you will accept peace now. No. Why don't you want to be annexed? Yes, ally in war. Hm, never mind then, we can wait. It's no rush. Natives are rising, but we have an army there, so everything should be okay. Mm, we should definitely... You know what, we should definitely take care of those natives. They are causing problems. Let's just kill them. Army will recover morale on the way. Should we get some mercenaries? Might be a bad idea. Because they're very expensive. Oh, but the enemy is coming. Let's get two units of mercenaries. We'll use them soon. Now oh, there's no time for, fi for fighting natives now. Where are you going? Uh, here, so our mercenaries will get crushed. We are going to both provinces. So we will cancel the mercenary production here. 
to here, we will destroy you with our troops. Aren't they going for our capital? Yes, I think they are. Okay, combine, combine units and chase. Uh, in the meantime, let's make two more units of mercenaries because we have no manpower whatsoever. And we will use them to siege their lands. Mm, I don't think they can support any more troops, so we might even send the mercenaries in the meantime while our main army is fighting them here. Now we still we are still at a slight disadvantage, but this time maybe this time we have more morale, so maybe. Maybe. Yes, we won. Okay. Now we have to chase them. Chase them all the way to wherever they're going. Where are you going? And probably you're probably going home, so just everyone follow them. Peace offer. Are you willing to be an ex now? Yes, you are. Okay. Core and increase it. Oh, we can't core. Why can't we call you? We have a colony here. Oh, because this is not our main landmass. We don't have consecutive uh, land borders. Crap. Or, or is that it really? Total cost. Let's see the colonial map mode. Yeah, we really can't do it, can we? We could if it was here. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure what to do with this province then. No, none of our vassals will accept it. Hmm. We could just keep a unit here and. <laughs> oh, maybe we can make a consecutive uh, land border by taking this province and then quickly colonizing those two and then recalling the colonists be before we go bankrupt. That could be enough to start coring. We'll see. For now, just follow them home. We'll take care of that after the war. Oh, new migrants. They're migrating like crazy. Hmm, you actually came home much quicker than we could get there. But again, we have superior numbers, so when we are all ready, yes, go kill them. This time we have superior numbers and superior morale, so we might lose again, we'll see. Okay, still can't cover it. Yes, finally. Won the battle. Let's kill their army before we start sieging. Okay. They just don't want to die. We just have to keep chasing them then. Finally, wipes. Okay. Split the army. Split the army. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some units here and some units here. That will be enough. Armanac entered the military alliance with Bali. But we don't have any new enemies because they were in Cold War or didn't accept the call. And the nationalists are again almost ready to revolt. Show me the province of Mahikan, which one is that? Oh yeah, because we have this missionary here. It's taking him quite a long time. Okay, as I said, we have a lot of monarch points that we're not using, so let's harsh treat them again. We could also boost stability. Up to plus two. Could be useful. Mm, no, 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 no. Too expensive. At least at the moment. Those migrations change the map constantly. That's a little disturbing. Okay, so we should be able to achieve consecutive borders by recalling the colonist and sending him here. Then we should be able to click the coring button. 
consistent borders. Yes, and yes, we can cover it. Good. Now we have to abandon the colony quickly because it will bankrupt us. Abandon. Should we do the same with this one? We should be able to maintain uh, this, uh, those two colonies for a while. We're doing quite well on money. And then we could... Uh, we could fabricate and conquer this one, this province here of Blackfoot, province of Michigan, sorry. Right, how are we doing here? Okay, everything is great. Rebel Uprising, no progress since the last time we saw that. Disputes affect government, lose administrative. Mm. Okay. And our colonist is working here, so let's finish this colony quickly. After that we will colonize this one, so we have uh, borders touching each other, and then one of those down here. Siege finished. Okay, just two sieges left in this war. And after that, this is our next target. Who are you allied with? Blackfoot. Hmm, perfect. We will be able to core you as well. Because this counts as a land border. Peace over from Armanac. No, thank you. Will you accept vassalization now? Sue for peace? No, not yet. But we can get more money from you. Just one, one more siege. Just a re religious unity mission. So, nothing good. Okay, so we have to join our lands by taking oh, missionary uh, missionary activities. Do you want to lose um, administrative power or get some unrest? Well, we can, can take care of the unrest by spending military points and administrative power is a bit more important for us. We have a lot of administrative power. Let's lose administrative. We have a very good ruler, so it makes up for quite a lot. How are you doing with this siege? Almost over. Do you have siege value? No. We will be able to get rid of the mercenaries very soon, but first let's... Uh, let's wage one more or two more wars. We could also attack Tlemcan. They don't have any allies, so let's actually use a diplomat to fabricate a claim on them. Okay, siege is over. Recall diplomat. And we want vassalization from you. So for peace. Become our vassal and give us all your money. Yes, it's a pity we can't force our religion on you. But when you can't always win. Alright, and we are trading in tobacco. Okay, we have three vassals now. We can take one more, so probably the white uh, guys here, Mysore. Let's check their liberty desire. Mm, all is manageable. We'll improve relations later. Okay, so you guys concentrate over here and get ready for an attack. Oh no, you know what? First get rid of the natives in Soto and then in Atikamek because those are the provinces that we are willing to colonize soon. Area is free of natives already and we can send the annexation offer to Croatia. Great. So, autonomy, core. Okay, we don't have a consecutive land border, but they are adjacent to a core province, so that is enough. Good. So after we've cored this, we won't need to colonize Atikamek again in order to core the Michigan province. That's good to know. Do we want to get, yes, a lot of administrative power, always. And let's reduce inflation if we have any. Yes, we do. So redu reduce inflation. We have a lot of administrative power, so this will bring us a benefit in the long run. We're spending very much on colonies, but our budget can handle it. Especially if we disband the mercenaries. And we will do that after our next war, most probably. Right, you guys attack the natives. You guys stay where you are and also attack the natives. I don't want to be fighting them every time I go through those provinces. 
they are quite problematic. Okay, can you actually kill them? You don't have a general, so you're not doing that well. Are there any natives left? Yes, so you failed. A pity. And there are no natives left here, that's good. The Viking ex exterminators. Okay, now attack. The province should be clear now, and so it is. Okay, get back home, fabricate a claim on, the, on Mysore. Fabricate claim on... what is this province? Which one is more base tax? 2, 4, and this is 4, so not this one. Should we vassalize them or go for annexation? Vassalization is better in the long run, but so let's just fabricate a claim on Niagara for now and then we'll see. Actually, we will be able to... Oh, Klemkin is at war with Brazil and Livonian Order. This is the Livonian Order. That is quite random. Perhaps I shouldn't have ch uh, chosen the random world. Some th silly things are happening. Right, should I attack them? Probably. Let's go there. Through those provinces that I have cleared of natives. And there will be some attrition, but just a bit. Election. Yes, we will keep our ruler. Unfortunately, our diplomatic... Um, sorry, not diplomatic. Our Republican tradition is getting pretty low. But now we will be able to... Yes. We have finished the claim. We will be able to pass the religious sacrifices decision. The religious sacrifices of animals and bloodletting into common practice. Into a common practice. Oh, turn religious sacrifices of animals and bloodletting into a common practice in our society to please the gods. Definitely. We will get more prestige and mm, cheaper stability. Definitely, yes. Do we want to remove Blackfoot from the map? Turn Soto into a city? Or recover manpower. Let's remove Blackfoot from the map, because we are going to fight them anyway. So we'll get a little bonus from the mission. And Mysore is allied with Blackfoot only. Blackfoot is allied with Mysore and Mewar. Who, where is Mewar? The Volian Order, Brazil, Tlemcen, Hasa. Oh, this is Mewar. Oh, uh, not really a good spot for us. We don't want to fight them at the fight them at the moment. Okay, so let's quickly conquer Tlemcen. Let's hope um, enemy armies don't invade them first. Diplomacy, declare war, conquest. Let's hope we're first. And from there we can expand into Brazil. Um, Ayer and Livonian Order. Good. Let's just uh, leave a sieging army and return with the main army to our lands so we can get ready to fight Mysore. And we already have a claim here, so after we've done, we're done with the claim on Niagara, we'll also fabricate a claim on um, Tkaronto. Maybe we'll go for annexation. More provinces means more income. Cypriot nationalists. How are you doing with this missionary? Sorry, which provinces were those again? Uh, Mahikan. Mahikan, that's here. How much longer? 69 this year, so we should be okay. The missionary should finish soon enough. I'm still not sure if I want to annex or vassalize them. Maybe vassalization is not such a bad idea. Because we can annex all those little guys here and um, spend our administrative power on that. And um, our vassals will be taken care of by our diplomatic power. They are quite strong. Mysore. Right. Um, this claim is taking quite a long time. I wonder why why is that? Why that is. Right, let's check if we got any new guys. Oh, we got diplomatic reputation guide. Definitely yes. It will cost us quite a lot of money. But perhaps we are we can start annexation now. I mean not now because we are at war. 
but when the war is finished. Let's improve relations and check our diplomatic reputation. It's minus 1.48. So if they are the same religion, did we convert them to Norse? Yes. Then we will be able to annex them once we are out of the war. What about you guys? Yes, we changed your religion as well. So we will be able to chain annex both of them when we have finished our war against Lemkin. Should we start the annexation first or destroy Mysore? Well... This won't be a difficult war. Let's do that. Let's... Uh... No, actually, it's better to finish this war and start annexation first. Because uh, then they could snipe our army. So, full annexation. Full annexation. Yes. And increase autonomy, make core. Great. You guys get back home. And now we're almost ready to start annexing Marwar. Perhaps we should send them a gift to speed things along. How much money would you want? 25 is enough. Okay, let's send them a gift. It will be quicker that way. Let's go to speed 4 for a minute. And we have a free diplomat, so let's send him to fabricate another claim on Mysore. It might come in handy if we decide to annex them instead. Okay, um, missionary has finished. And the reward risk is going down. Great. Where can you send where where can we send you next? Espacomi. Alright. 40 months is not that much. Everything is going rather well. We are losing money. This is unfortunate, but unavoidable. After we've annexed uh, some of our vassals, we will be mm, doing better on, on cash. And we'll be able to sustain colonizing two provinces at the same time for quite a long time. Do you want to reduce taxes, mm, reduce manpower, or increase unrest? Let's reduce taxes. They're the least important, in my opinion. Okay, how are how are our, how are our colonies doing? Mm -hmm. Decent, not too good, but decent. Okay, so you are our next target. Imagua, which one is that? Let's see, Imagua, where are you? Oh, you're the huge guy here, the one we want to vassalize. What is your base tax? Oh, just four. Maybe the vassalization is not such a good idea, but it will be easier to keep the rebels in hand. So, yeah, we'll vassalize you. And we are almost ready to fight Mysore, so we will start annexation of uh, Marwar and then declare war on Mysore. Sale of titles. Do you want free stability? Yes! Gain the core province, always a nice thing. And no rebels are actually... Oh, increased autonomy. Why is that happening? Hmm. Truce expired with... Um... Oh, they are our vassal, so doesn't matter. I like the new truce expired pop-up. I think it's a new thing. Influence decisions. Do we want to lose stability or lose prestige? Definitely prestige. We have basically almost no new, no use for prestige at the moment. We have to watch our Republican tradition closely. But when our ruler dies, it will get back up a bit. Alright. Um, Almost ready to annex. Okay, recall diplomat and start annexation. Mm, annex vassal. Oh, we can't. How long have you been our vassal? N have to wait for next year. Well, let's wait for next year then. Improve relations with you a bit. 22nd of April. In the core province. Should we declare war on Mysore first? No, I don't think so. We can start coring and then declare war. It will be... sorry, start annexing and then declare war. It will be cleaner that way. Still at zero, zero manpower. Everything is going into our army here. Perhaps I should consolidate. Yeah, let's consolidate. Oh, our leader is dead. Let's get a new general. 
Hmm. Decent. Not too bad, not too good. Okay, when will we be ready to annex you? April, so now, basically. So let's recall the guided Emperor's relations and start annexation. Let's see if we are making any progress. Yes. Yes, because we have the diplomatic reputation guy and we are the same religion. So one point per month. It will take quite a long time, but we are patient. Good. So now we can go to war against you. Blackfoot and Mewar. Mewar. Where is Mewar? I just checked that. Oh, you're the tiny guy over here. We don't want anything from you, that's unfortunate. That will be fighting for no reason. And Blackfoot. Blackfoot is adjacent to our core province here, through sea. So we sh Oh, we can't. We won't be able to call them. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. We would have to send two colonists, one here and then here, to have consecutive land borders and be able to call them. That would be problematic. Do we want to? How rich is this province? Just one base tax. Mm, I think we'll do that later. Or we could just annex Mysore and make our way through Hausa and then reach Blackfoot. Let's just declare war on you and not call them as belligerent. Take Niagara, yes. We might just go for annexation then. It could be a good vassal, but it would slow our expansion a bit. So I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, uh, detach siege and catch their army. Can we catch them? 29th, 29th, yes we can. Oh no, they moved first. So just follow them. Okay, we're going for our army. Go here and then return. And pause. They should survive for for a long enough time for us to get back there. They didn't. My mistake. A bit of a mistake. Let's follow the retreating enemy. Or no, let's let's just siege instead of following them. And kill the little army over there. They're running. Never mind then. Detach siege and move on. Detach siege and move on. Let's just concentrate on Mysore because we have no interest in conquering their allies anyway. I'm almost sure we wouldn't be able to core Blackfoot. Colonial expansion. Expansion. Free colonists somewhere new here. Nipissing. We have no interest in coring this province at the moment, in uh, colonizing this province at the moment. How many colonists do we have here? 151. And over here? Almost full. So let's instead just get 50 population in Soto. Because we don't want to colonize this at the moment. Right, you guys stay here. And I think we won't be taking anything from Blackfoot or from Mewar. We'll just uh, we'll just conquer Mysore. I'm still not sure if we want to annex them or vassalize them. Vassalization would be better concerning monarch points and unrest. But I don't think we will be able to um, make them our vassal and force religion. Or will we? We will. So we might do that instead. Because if they are the same religion, we will be able to annex them easily. Yeah, let's do that. As soon as we can. Agricultural revolution, manpower or tax? Tax. We're hurting for manpower, but tax also has... Uh, mm, what should we call it? Diplomatic bonuses. Okay, I think we have gone on for quite a long time. And this is enough for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it.